Hi, I'm Darwin Ello. I'm the corresponding author of our recently published paper about how Apofan service. Before diving deep into the details, our principal investigator, Professor Claudio Franceschi, will tell you about the reason behind Apofan development. Mitochondrial DNA is our second genome, it's very important and is involved in a variety of human diseases and in aging. Uh, and we uh, analyze mitochondrial DNA uh, within the framework of uh, uh, many uh, European projects. Now uh, it is possible to, uh, the technology allows us to have uh, the complete mitochondrial DNA sequences and uh, Aplofind is the most robust, reliable and up-to-date uh, uh, tool uh, to, uh, to analyze mitochondrial DNA within a very short time. So this is Filo3 that represented the factory standard for human mitochondrial phylogenetic trees. This is indeed just a small part of the tree, the beginning of our subtree, but it is sufficient to show you that there are a lot of different haplogroups and some of them are defined by many many mutations. So the work you need to do when you try to find out which is the best fit for your sample inside the tree is that you need to manually compare the list of the mutations your sample has with the mutation defined by no haplogroups. This is obviously a very long work, a very error-prone work, so in the context of high throughput project, you need an automatic way to do it. Automatic methods are indeed available, the first being HMTDB, published in 2005, the last being Haplogrep, published in 2010. However, both have shortcomings, so we decided to build a completely new pipeline that we call Haplofind that tries to overcome those problems. Let me now walk you through our web application. This is Haplofind homepage. Here you can find a short description of the service and what we call Haplofind Quick Start. Following those hints, you will be able to start analyzing your sample in our system in a matter of minutes. If you need additional help, please check our frequently asked question page. Here you can find answers to the most common problems. If it is not sufficient, please go to our feedback page. We will be there to help you. I will show you now how to submit a new batch to be analyzed on Haplofind. First of all, go to the submit form, enter your batch name your email address, so please use a real email address since Applefine server needs to send you a couple of emails and then select the file containing your samples. Click the submit button and the system will start loading your sequence automatically. The system is now processing the sequences. The time needed to complete the process depends on many factors, the server workload, the network workload and the file size, so please be patient. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. And these are the results. However, this doesn't tell the whole story. I would like to show you now all the steps that Haplofine took to give you back the results. This is a schema of Haplofine pipeline. Once a new batch is submitted for analysis, the system starts loading it automatically. In the meantime, an email is sent to the user containing a unique link to access the results. During the loading process, each sequence analysis is given independently, allowing for parallel computation. Once the last sequence has been analyzed, the system sends an email to the user informing him that the results are ready. Results are deleted after 24 hours for security reasons. Now, let's go back to the web interface. This is the results page for the batch I've submitted before. As you can see, for each sample, you have the upper group assignment, the upper group score, the identified mutation, and the flag that states if the assignment completed correctly or not. Clicking on each sample, the system will load additional information about the assignment. You will obtain the list of the mutation, if they were expected or not, they identify the loci and known association with diseases. If you are not happy with the assignment that Haplofine did, you can easily change it through the assignment tree. Additional details regarding Haplofine design and implementation are available in the article, so have a nice reading and see you on Facebook or Twitter.